Hey, Jason Geist, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Southeast Indiana. I uh, wanted to give you a quick update on what my thoughts are around fungicide timing on soybeans. So standing in a field of April planted beans here, uh, I've been in quite a few fields this week and so far I'm not seeing any disease to speak of, which doesn't really surprise me coming off of this really hot and dry spell that we've had. Um, so the thing that you normally hear about is an R3 fungicide timing. So R3 means that you have a 3 16 inch long pod at one of the four uppermost nodes on that soybean plant. But you might be at R3 for quite a while um, and you may bounce back and forth between R2, R3, R3, R4 um, as that plant continues to put more nodes on. So the other thing I also like to do is count the number of nodes when I'm trying to make that decision. So, you know, Purdue, uh, Sean Castile now actually recommends an R4 fungicide. So I definitely like to be at least towards the latter half of R3 uh, or early R4 when I go out to make that application, uh, specifically if we don't have much disease pressure. So we might have 16 nodes, something like that, uh, before we want to think about making an application. So these plants here, I'll, I'll take a look here in a second, but I'm counting 13 nodes and we're at R3, but I'm probably gonna drag my feet because I'm not seeing any disease pressure. So as I take a look at this plant, like I said, you wanna count down. Uh, if you got a 3 16 pod anywhere on the four uppermost nodes, that would mean that it is at the R3 growth stage. So if I go one, two, three, four, uh, you can see that I have a 3 16 inch long pod at one of the four uppermost nodes. Um, once you have a three quarter inch pod at one of the four uppermost nodes, then it's technically classified as R4. Uh, and we're not quite to that point yet. So this would be an R3 plant. But like I said, I like to also count the total number of nodes. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this would be a little bit early, in my opinion, on when I'd like to go in and make a fungicide application. I'd like to wait until we've got at least 15 nodes, maybe even 16 or better, if we continue to be disease-free. Um, you can also see that we've got just a little bit of insect feeding. I always like to include an insecticide whenever I'm making a fungicide pass on my soybeans. Uh, we've seen a great return on investment year over year with an insecticide application. So I like to drag my feet a little bit um, in terms of timing because I want to be able to protect the upper part of that plant. And like I mentioned, this plant here has 13 nodes. April planted beans are probably going to end up somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 22 total nodes. So we're still going to stack quite a few nodes on the top of this plant. If we go ahead and spray now, we'll get about three weeks of residual and protect some of this lower canopy. Um, but there's still a lot of this upper part of the plant yet to develop and a lot of our yields going to come from from the top where the sunlight's hitting heavier so i like to wait until we get a, a, a little bit closer to that total node count so if you wait until you get to 16 nodes if you're still clean um, that's going to protect more of that plant canopy than if you were to hit it on the smaller side if i'm looking at this plant here and i've got 13 nodes today and i'm waiting until 16 it means i'm waiting for three more nodes it typically takes a rule of thumb would be about three to four days per node. So if we're waiting for three more, um, that'd be say nine to 12 days until this field would have about 16 nodes. That's gonna be weather dependent, but that puts us in the ballpark on when I'd be thinking about coming out here and applying a fungicide insecticide in this field, assuming that uh, disease pressure doesn't pick up anytime here in the near future. Hope this helps. Um, if you got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or your Pioneer sales rep, uh, and we'd be glad to come out and take a look at your field and help with uh, making any management decisions on your operation. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.